Hello everybody. Happy New Year. It's uh, January 1st, 2021. Uh, I figured I'd get a jump on working on this today. It is still pretty cold out, but they're calling for like the mid-50s tomorrow and hopefully no rain. Um, so far, that's how it looks. Um, okay, so on the last video, um, I tried to start this up and the chain blew off at the end of the video here. And I found one problem here where this is a centrifugal cl clutch it's only supposed to uh, turn one way you know when you uh, activate the starter button here it's supposed to spin and then once the machine starts it's supposed to freewheel here but the, the clutch right now is um, seized so what I intend to do right now is I'm going to uh, take this clutch off I'm going to begin by put uh, taking this lock bolt out and then I can only use like a, a large, you can't put a socket on it. I'm sure there is a special socket, but I don't have it. So I'll have to j just use a big uh, adjustable wrench on there. And the way I'm going to do it is I've got the spark plug out. And I'm just going to keep on feeding this rope down uh, into the cylinder. I got the piston all the way down. I'm going to keep feeding this uh, rope in there, and then when I turn the uh, the clutch assembly to the left, it should lock, and then I'll be able to loosen it, and I'll take it off, and the best way uh, to do it is when I lay this on, when I lay it on its side on the bench, I can uh, spray some blaster in there and try to loosen this clutch up. Um, also... I'm pretty sure I have another plate here with a good starter button on it. This is mangled. I know that's not going to work. But I think I have one that will work. And I'll test the button now. Because once I have this clutch off, I can pull the whole plate off and just change the plate. So I don't have to worry about breaking any bolts that hold the uh, starter switch on. Then in the meantime, I found another chain that's in pretty decent shape here. But it was too long, so what I did was I took a link out of it. And I have to go buy a uh, master link. Um, yeah, I looked on the internet. And it looks like Tractor Supply is open today. So I'm going to run out there and pick up the master link. And I'm going to check for any other parts that might be needed today on this project. Uh, like I said, it's probably this is just going to be the first series. And I'll continue uh, tomorrow. I want to try to start this up tomorrow. And we're definitely taking the magneto off. I'm going to take the magneto off. And the, um, I don't know, it was getting pulse. It was pulsing like, first it wasn't pulsing at all. And then I was tapping it with the hammer very slightly. And it started pulsing. But I'm going to try to take this apart as much as I can and try to spray it and make sure the pulse works we were getting spark when it was pulsing whether it was good enough spark or not i don't know but i'm going to go ahead and pull the cover off once i have the magneto off and i'm going to clean the points regap them put it back together and see if we can fire this baby up soon so i got as much rope down there as i could um, after a while, sometimes you have to um, poke it down there w with a uh, flat blade uh, screwdriver to get it uh, down in there. Um, oh yes, and I had a comment about um, the valves stick, the, uh, especially the exhaust valve stick on these. Which is true, but I really didn't get to that point yet. But when I did prime it with oil, I felt some compression then. Everything you know, was all dried out in there. I'm not saying that it's not. But when they came originally, they had uh, steel, steel valve guides. And when these used to get rebuilt, they used to use the bronze valve guides, which uh, the valve, I never seen one stick. Um, also, you know, to me, it looks like this engine's been off here. I don't know what extent um, as far as re rebuilding the jug, you know, the upper part here, the cylinder. I don't know what was done to it, but 
I got my mo my rope in there. Wow, it is still pretty cold. I could hardly talk, so I'm sorry. All right, I took that uh, lock bolt out, and now I got the um, uh, adjustable, the huge adjustable wrench on there. I'm gonna try to see if I could uh, walk this thing off. Another thing I want to tell you, like, use the rope method. Don't ever try to stick any kind of metal down in the spark plug hole to stop the piston from coming up because you could crack the piston and cause yourself more grief. All right, so let's see if I can loosen this starter pulley here, starter clutch. Might have to feed more rope down there. Oh! Yeah, this is an easy. Can I get around the other side again? No. It'd be nice if I could so I could stand on the wrench at least. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, like I said, sometimes you got to feed more rope in there. I don't know what happened, but it didn't come off. Try it again. Nah. I gotta try to get some more rope down in there. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I just about used that whole roll of uh, rope. What was left of it. See what happens now. I'll just use this little one to get started here a little bit. Yeah, the old Gravely guy in town here, um, he showed me, he used to tell me a lot of tricks. So he told me that trick about sticking a rope down in the cylinder. Alright, let's see if we can use this big one on here. I have to go around the other side. I think it's got one. I think it's got one. Nice. Let me use a smaller wrench. And then I usually just leave the rope in there to uh, tighten it back up to... Yeah, it came loose. Okay, I'll be with you guys. I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to spray this thing up and see what's going on. <clears throat> well, I got this to unseize, but it's trashed. I had to take it apart, and the roller bearings in there were, like, all rusted together. And I could turn this part now, but it doesn't lock. Because now it has no roller bearings in it. I just stuck it back together just for now. But I do have this one here that works. So... I'm going to stick this one on the tractor. See, it's supposed to turn this way, but not the other way. So, I have to, uh, I think it's too late today to go to um, Tractor Supply to buy the chain link. So, I think we're just going to uh, wait till the morning. So, the biggest reason that I, I, I could see is that the plug in here is missing and that's the plug in there so you could uh, start it with the starter strap so that was missing so I'm sure a bunch of water got down in there it just corroded and seized everything up in there 
So it's January 2nd, the next day, 2021. Uh, and I went to uh, Tractor Supply <clears throat> and I bought the uh, Chain Master Link. Now this chain, um, I googled it yesterday and it's supposed to be a number 35 chain. I'm not familiar with any sizes or anything like that. So when I went there, I was looking for a number 35 ma master link, but they didn't have it, of course. But I did find this uh, number 41. It fit, fits into the one side of the chain here. And I'm hoping that this will work. And in the meantime, yesterday, after the... Um, I went to dig for another starter button because the one on the tractor is broken as you saw so I found this one I tried to test it it looked like it worked I was having trouble trying to push the button to see if this uh, was working right but this has the cable that comes off it that goes to the starter um, what I'm going to do is rather than change the plate it'll be easier to just uh, change out the uh, the starter switch uh, what else? Oh, yeah, and then we have our uh, starter clutch. I cleaned it up real good with the whizzer on both sides. And I sprayed some uh, uh, blaster in there on both sides. It, it worked good, as I showed you yesterday. This one looked more beat up than the one that was on the tractor. But it had this uh, grease fitting somebody put in here. So it kept water from getting into it. Because uh, if I remember correctly, when I got the tractor this came off of, that sat outside for years and years, it looked like also. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this chain together here. And then we're, we're going to un uncover the uh, tractor. It rained pretty hard yesterday after I got done doing what I was doing yesterday. And by the time I put everything away, it started getting cold out again. And But today is a little windy. But it's supposed to be like the, the mid 50s so i can live with that the only thing i noticed with this is the uh pin here which you slide through uh the chain it's like longer maybe that's the difference between the 35 and the 41. Like I said, I don't know anything about this, but that that's what it looks like the difference is But better it was too long than too short. I think it'll be okay. I don't think it's gonna come apart or anything There's one way to find out Okay, so I uh, mounted the new old uh, starter button here switch and What I did was I hooked the uh, battery cable that's going to the battery here to the bottom and now I have this cable here that's going to go on the top terminal here and then I'm going to uh, connect it to the starter so I'm going to do that in the meantime I'll mount the starter and then uh, the ground wire can go anywhere on negative uh, on the tractor so I'm just going to take the negative and I'm going to uh, put it to this um, starter bolt here that's on top and I'll hook it to the battery I had a battery here I charged it up real good and we'll connect them we'll see if the starter works and then I'll go ahead and put the clutch uh, starter clutch back on so I have the starter mounted back on I hooked up all the cables one, uh, the one that goes to the starter goes to the starter switch and then the other one goes to the battery I don't have a battery mount on here so I'm just leaving the battery down on the ground here for now and I just checked it out and it works so let's see if we can let's see if I can do this without there we go. Yeah. so that works so I'll put the starter clutch back on, I'll put the chain back on, and then I'll show you how I pull the uh, magneto off. Okay, if you do the timing by the book, you're supposed to take the head off. Um, 
you know, you get it to, with the spark plug in, you get it to top dead center. You know, on compression stroke, that means your valves are closed and you're making compression. And you want your piston to be all the way up. Okay? Uh, the way they want you to do it is they want you to take the head off and the piston has to go down like three-eighths of an inch down from the very top and you're supposed to line up there's a mark on on here with a straight line and that has to be lined up now I do it differently what I do is I bring the uh, I bring it up to compression stroke and then I um, I leave it I leave the piston all the way up okay now you have that straight line where your timing is uh, on the correct adjustment here and then to the right of it there's uh, two dots on here so what I do is I line up the two dots when it's on when the pistons all the way up I line up to do two dots I tighten this up here the adjustment uh, bracket here and when I turn the engine counterclockwise and get it the mark to the straight line the piston will have gone down 3 8 inches from the top and your timing set that's the way I do it all the time it always works for me instead of going through the trouble of pulling the head off yeah, this Magneto's been pretty cannibalized here. You got this one, uh, it has uh, four screws that hold the, this cover on. First of all, the cover has no gasket on it. Second of all, I guess somebody couldn't get this uh, screw out down here, so it's all bent, and somebody just broke the cover off. Uh, yesterday, I didn't have enough sense when I was looking for the uh, starter switch. Um, you know in the back of the storage here which took me like 20 minutes to get to everything uh, I could have pulled another magneto out of here I want to try to save this magneto I'm not going to try to get the screw out today because um, I just want to clean the points see if you can see it. points are a little dirty so I'm going to clean them up I'm going to uh, put it back together gap them to 15 thousandths and I just want to, I just want to hear this thing at least try to start or start or whatever it's going to do. So I'm going to clean the points, put it back on, put them back in, and we'll see what happens with it. It's really windy today. I would have rather have had it to 10 degrees colder yesterday when no wind would have been better. The wind absolutely drives me crazy here. Okay, we have spark. I just checked the uh, fuel flow again. So that seems to be pretty good right now. I'm going to just try it and see what happens with it. I can do about that. I don't well, the spark plug was wet, so I shut the fuel off and I uh, blew off the spark plug. This is no good, the starter keeps starting to freewheel. Okay, 
Bell broke off. Seems kind of hot. I wonder why. Cramp there. Yeah, the fan's okay. I guess the belt just had a real big crack in it and broke. That's another thing. I didn't have enough sense to pick up a fan belt for it. But I thought the fan belt was still good. Well, it runs. Well, I can. I'm trying to try to adjust the carburetor. I can run it to the ribs, but we'll do that another time. So I'm pretty excited that it starts. Does it look like it's blowing any oil? I never got a chance to check to see if, uh, if it had oil pressure. I never got a chance to uh, check that. Sure did that first thing, but. I'm so excited that it started. I'm surprised it started. It looks pretty dry down there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.